In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. In version 4, an IP address representation takes up 32 bits. In version 6, an IP address representation takes up 128 bits. You may have seen an IPv4 address that looks something like these examples. Each byte is an unsigned value from 0 to 255 and is separated by a dot in Internet Protocol version 4. The problem with version 4 is that by only using 32 bits, there is a maximum of around 4 billion possible unique IP addresses. There are more than 4 billion people in the world, so this becomes an issue. There are also many reserved IP addresses, for example, 127.0.0.1 is an IP address to represent the local host. If you attempt to connect to, send data to, or receive data from the local host, it will just be sending or receiving data to the same machine. Version 6 was supposed to be a solution to this problem, but it does not seem to be widely implemented yet. In version 6, the IP address is represented by 128 bits. There are eight sections to an IP address in version 6. Each section contains two bytes and is separated by a colon and represented in hexadecimal. Here's an example of what an IP address might look like in version 6. Version 6 allows for more IP addresses than the world could probably ever need. It allows for approximately 340 undecillion unique IP addresses. In an IPv6 address, sections with just zero can be omitted. The above address, for example, can be displayed like this. In version 6, local host can be represented by two colons followed by a one. Since Internet Protocol version 4 is widely used and we are running out of IP addresses, we cannot allow every device to have a unique IP address. We are using something called Network Address Translation as a temporary workaround for this, which will be explained in the next tutorial.